From the beginning, we were wrong. And only now, well into the second decade of the conflict, have we begun to understand the mistakes we have made. We lived in harmony among the Fae, in a world awakened to new magic. Perhaps we should have foreseen what might be born on this rising tide. What force might awaken. A force powerful enough to twist even the eternal and immutable Fae Folk. <laughs> But Gadflo, the new king of the Winter Court, surprised us all. Singular among his people, he was all that other Fae were not. Aggressive, ambitious, visionary. He had power like none we had ever seen. Terrible and deadly. Gadflo and his followers, the Tuatha Deon, believed that a new god was to be born in the east, beneath Gadflo's crystalline fortress of Amethyn. In the name of that god, they marched to war against the young races of Amalur. Against a mortal army, no matter the power of their god, we might have been victorious. But the Fey are creatures of magic, not bound by the laws of life and death. Each two that are fallen on the battlefield would soon rise again, for the Fae do not know death as we do. How could we stand against such a force? For ten years the war raged. For ten years the armies of men and Alpha fought and died. But as our numbers dwindled, we knew that it was only a matter of time. Our fate had been written. At least, that is what we believed. Until you died. What do you think this one is, Dan? How far? Gone on? Could even be a Jotun. Always a surprise, eh, Gran? Eyes on the job, boy. Don't matter what it is. Dead's dead. And be thankful for that. All we've seen. Go on and pull back the sheet, though. It'll need to be in our report, one way or the other.
Varani. Must have been a mercenary, come to fight in the war. I could have told him how he'd end up. Not in bad shape, though, all things considered. All right, then. Make sure it goes into the report. You know he'll want all the details. Amazing how well the body held up. Better than I've seen. I'm just glad it's not moving. Must have been born under a lucky star, this one. Anything else we need? Unless you'd like to name him, I think we're done. Put him with the others. That's it for you, then. Better luck next time. Scatter, children of dust! Scatter before the might of the Tuatha! Come along. Wait. I've seen you before. On the slab. You. You were dead. It worked. By the tome, it worked. You're alive. No, no, clearly not. Not anymore. But you were. The Well of Souls remade your body. We thought you were another failure. What? The well restored your soul to your body, and it worked. We must get you to Professor Hughes right away. He'll have questions for you. 
Oh my, you don't know? Perhaps the process damaged your memory. They are the Tawatha Deon, the enemies of all the young races. We've never seen them this far inland. Not even during the invasion. I, I don't know why they are here. Hughes may have the answer to that as well. You must stay alive and reach him. Oh, no doubt. But we must get to Hughes. He'll be in his study on the ground floor. The Tuatha are coming in through the lower levels. If we hurry, we should be able to beat them to the top. Take these. They'll help keep you safe long enough to get to Hughes. Now let's get going. He'll be in his study on the ground floor of the tower. At least, I hope he's there. And safe. Let me get this done. Right this way. Uh, you go first. This is what they're after. Our greatest invention. The Well of Souls. Imagine an end to war. An end to death. Wait, do you hear something? A shield. There must be one nearby. Move! Move! More to offer! Archers up ahead. Best shoot them before they see us.
I bet you're still groggy, but just keep move, move, move. Catch an enemy unaware. Their speed more than makes up for their size. <laughs> Blossoms only respond in the presence of magic. Perhaps there is more to you. That's incredible! What are you? completely covered the tunnel. Maybe you can use that staff to burn up.
Hurry, get out of here! Protects quite like layers of imper. Leather armor is thin, but will give you the speed. Need to reach an enemy's boat. This is where we part ways. But take whatever you want from this armory. We might have a few things that would fit you. Just make sure you get to choose. We can hold off the Tawafa here. There's nothing more I can do except to stay here and slow down the Tuatha. But this is the armory, after all. Check the chests. We might have a few things that would fit you. With luck, I'll see you on the outside. I'll see you on the outside, if fate wills it. at you, even with all you've been through. The Tuatha, your return from the dead. Please forgive me, you must be terribly confused by all of this. I am Fomorous Hughes, and this is my laboratory at Alastar. Everything you see here is dedicated to one thing, the Well of Souls, the pursuit of immortality. And you, you're my first success. If we only had the time, there's so much we might learn from one another. Too much to explain right now. The Tuatha have come to stop my work, but I don't believe they know about you. Not yet. What's important is getting you out of here safely. You're the only proof of what we've achieved here. I may not be able to save the well, but I can ensure that its only success is safe. Yes, yes, you're right. I, I've got my notes, but it's most important that you stay safe. It's just that you... You're... Uh, Wait, where are you going? Fascinating. Simply astounding. I'm not certain what's caused it, but somehow... Uh, yes, as I was saying, I'm not sure what... <coughs> Perhaps I should go see. Sir, sir, Mr. Hughes, the dwarf have reached a lab that inside the mouth <laughs> No! We've got to get you out of here now, quickly! Follow the path to the town of Gorm. Find Agar. He's a friend, and he may be able to help. No matter what else, stay alive! <laughs> 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
So you're fighting there. We could have used more of you. Did he really have a troll? I don't know how the Twatha found us, but if they had a troll, it couldn't have been an accident. Fate was kind to collapse that doorway behind you, or they would have chased us into the glade. Fate weavers? Ah, charlatans. You swears by them. But I'll be damned if I trust my future to some cards. Good luck out there. You've come from the tower, haven't you? Name's Agarth. 
Maybe you can help an old fate weaver, eh? Did he? Poor old Fomerus Hughes. He respected the way the world works. What a shame. He's probably dead by now. When he started his experiments here, he asked me if they'd ever be successful. The cards told me that the Well of Souls would work, but its success would come on the day that Hughes was to die. The old man took it pretty well, honestly. Although we did a lot of drinking after that. I wish I could, but times are tough. I've barely got enough to pay my bot. You really don't know much, do you? A fate weaver taps into the threads of fate and channels that energy through a focus. My order prefers cards. The cards are unique to each fate weaver, since we all see the weave differently. You, you're the one. Then that means it all makes sense now. The cards this morning. I drew the Grave Digger, the Running Man, and the Beast. Prepare yourself. They're coming. of fate. I've seen them before, but I've never seen anyone manipulate them like that. You just changed how the world was supposed to work. How did you do that? You just... Fate is the will of the gods. No mortal should be able to change it. How is that even possible? Come here. I'm going to do a reading. You might be able to change the threads. But fate will still have a plan for you. I promise not to tell you if I see your death. Don't worry, it's quick, it doesn't hurt, and there's no charge. And after what I've seen, I'm not letting you out of my sight until I have an answer. You're nervous. Relax. This is what fate weavers do. I'll be seeing your place in the pattern of destiny. Who you are, what you've done, where your path takes you. Or, at least, I should be. You're real, right? I swear I haven't had that much. Fate's weave is always hard to see. It's in motion, hard to make out, but undeniably there. Yours is just... missing. This doesn't make sense. All mortal creatures have a place in the pattern. You should have one too, dead or not. If this is true, and I'm not saying I believe it, then your path is yours to determine. It could mean nothing. I've never had I'll meet you at his home to the east. This all of all the 
songs in halls of lore, their echoes none more grand than Olain's many feats of might, the pure and lady of the light. She is a knight of golden knot. She is the cure seeker, the conscience of the summer fay. She is the heart of spring, of day. Go on. 